Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Aswinan here, and I'm going to be bringing you episode number th 14 of Let's Play Skyrim. Now, if you remember from the last episode, we got the new Thieves Guild armor, and we have burned the three place three uh, beehives from. Um, oh, sorry, itchy nose. Um, the Golden Glow State, and we're just getting up to the new one. Now, as soon as you get here, you have to make sure you quickly get in here because, as you notice, the fire is there. There was actually a trap I activated right here. And if you don't move in here, obviously you will burn. And the good thing is, is that if you when you activate it, it will kill three skeevers. Always a good thing. Okay, so anyways, now that we're done that, just when you get up here, make sure to pick this lock. It actually has a skill book in here. I can actually find the place where it wants me to. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this will have a pickpocket skill. all the lock picks that I just broke and come in here now let's see I am going to try and use Here, little skeever, skeever, skeever. Where are you? I don't particularly want to fight you right now. Ah, there you are. So. Oh, also when you're coming by here, watch out for this trap because it will drop that spiked ball into your special spot. And that's just downright uncomfortable and unpleasant. So when you've get finally gotten through all those, oh, go up this ladder. And it will drop you off right by the back door. Which is right here. And I just lucked out on an expert lock. And it will give me that level up. Let's just quickly do that right now. I would like stamina. Move all the way over to sneak. Actually, what's my smithing at? I can't do any more smithing right now, so I will continue with my sneak right now and get silent roll. Um. Okay, so uh, for everybody who hasn't yet, um, I'm actually doing this episode right after the last one. So um, again, if for whatever reason you're watching this one before the last one or not watching them in order whatsoever, um, if you go to my Facebook page, you can vote for which side of the Dawn Guard DLC that I will actually be taking. Um, hopefully you get there before I get... I'll hopefully just answer as soon as possible because I'm thinking when I get approached by the Dawn Guard is when I might just go into that DLC straight off the bat. Um, and well, if I... Uh, if I looked into it enough, it's pretty much after level 10 you get approached by somebody. I'm not going to go into any further details other than that. But anyways, when you first come up, to, you always want to make sure you come up these stairs and go to the second floor. Because this is where you need to go first. Make sure to, of course, pick up the gold, as you just saw me do. 
come across here and just watch out for that uh, guard right there these guards will attack you on site so just cut through that room and you'll bypass them completely because there's a nice shelf there blocking his view come in here get the three gold in here um, there's another guard right here and there, there are some stuff in that closet but there's not really worth much there's another one a guard right there obviously so just be careful and try and just get by pick the lock close now when you get in here Iron Goth's going to be right there he's not going to attack or anything but you know uh, he's not going to attack you unless you, he catches you pickpocketing him so quick save because you'll need to get two keys and at 68% I don't like that odd. I prefer a 95. But, oh, see, he caught me pickpocketing. He's going to attack me and probably kill me. So, just try it again. There we go. Good. Those are the only two things you absolutely, well, good things that you'll need. Oh, and make sure you picked up the um, Queen Bee statue. It's a little bit of a side quest with the Thieves Guild. Because every mission that you're sent on, uh, you can find one thing or another that you can sell to Delvin for 500 to 1,000, and will be put up by the um, Guildmasters um, area. Oop. Um. So when you take over, it pretty much makes your area look really nice. Now you just wait for that guy to turn around, go over to here, and there we go. We're now go heading down to the basement where we need to go. Um, in this area there will be people you most likely will have to kill, but I'll try not to. Um, there's no reason to go over there, so you can just bypass those two right off the bat. And when you come here, you, the way you need to go is this way, but if you come over here, there's a coin purse and two deer hides. Now, and um, a bear and a wolf pelt. Now, if you're being a sneaky character or a th um, thief or whatever who uses light armor, this is good because obviously you can um, increase, you know, the effectiveness of your thieves these guild armor or even just practice smithing and building more and more light armor. Now for this oil here it leads to this guy right here. He's not going to die whatsoever by this but he will see you no matter what you do. So the best thing to do is probably just to come up and power attack him because you'll kill him pretty quick that way. And we don't need any of these. Uh, we can just steal these this, leave him naked there for all his buddies to see and just keep going now that was the entirety of the cellar, believe it or not make sure to get this you'll have to pick this lock oh. get that now what you want is in the safe now the reason why uh, we picked uh, pickpocketed Aaron Goth, so we actually don't have to um, pick an expert lock. Because let's face it, that's just downright annoying. And then once you're done, just go in there, and you're now back in the sewers. And of course just follow along here. There won't be any uh, enemies or rats or anything. And you'll just come across a hole. Jump into the hole. Ba -dum -dum. And that will lead back up to the back door. So just continue back to that little alcove way, way, way back here. And here we go. and back out to Skyrim.
Now one thing I have actually always forgot to do was actually check out this bill. And got this document acknowledges the sale of Golden Glow State and all property, assets, and materials contained within. Payment of property has been made in full by Golamai as agent on behalf of the buyer. All dealings with the Thieves Guild in Riften is to cease immediately to deter possible retribution for this act. You are to take immediate steps to protect our assets in any way you see fit. I think you'll find that the Thieves Guild is far more bark than bite and will likely avoid Golden Glow State rather than thin their already dwindling numbers. Good luck and may this be the start of a long and lucrative partnership. Now, um, you will probably uh, want to read that because as soon as you return to the Thieves Guild, it is, well, it gets taken away from you. So, once you're done, just swim over here. Swim just to the mainland. And then travel to the Thieves Guild. No. I want to go to the Thieves Guild. And that's actually pretty much the entire first little bit of it. It's pretty short, and there's not really much to it. But it's it, if you just try and barge in when you're being trying to be uh, sneaky and just with light armor, it's not gonna work. Come here a second. No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Yes, and here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow. What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Last. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Sure, but will I come out of there alive? If it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. What does Maven want with me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Alright, there we go. And I will call it an episode right now. So thank you for watching. Please check out the Facebook page uh, in the description below. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.